They went beyond their ancestry in this small souvenir example of on-go, bis-fired, later smoke-penetrated called negative decoration. The flowers you see here are all smoke-penetrated, carbon-resist, negative decoration. Chulacanus, 1977. A Gerasimo Sosa pot showing his revived techniques. Here he did double negative resist and in this area smoke scraffito. To practice, for example, gather some low-fire terracotta planting pots. Small, costs about 25 cents each. They have to be low-fire bis terracotta, okay? Next, you need a good mix of clay slurry and a brush, as seen here. The thickness of heavy cream, for example. Here, I applied this design with the slip, and below is where you can do the engraving called smoke scraffito, which is a beyond ancestry technique by Gerasimo Sosa Alache of Chulucanus. Where I am inscribing, the smoke will penetrate this area. To make it more interesting, you can also apply on gobe to your pre bis piece and engrave and smoke resist through that, as you will see later. Likewise, you can pre apply on gold as in this pot and then biscuit or you can do blended on gold anything you like okay likewise you can pre apply on gold as in this pot and then biscuit or you can do blended on gold anything you like okay here is my homemade version in miniature of the Gerasimo Sosa of Chulucanus, his smoker, which you can make yourself with a few tools. You will need a can, small, medium, or large, a rack from a toaster oven or a refrigerator, and a regular can from the pantry. Here you see how I punched holes and wired the chimney can to the body can. Then I made perforations on the bottom for the air as well as this would be the bottom for the air circulation as you can see here. Once you have assembled it, you put your rack in and you apply leaves within the can completely full of dry leaves of preferably oak, if you have oak. Once you have assembled it, you put your rack in and you apply leaves within the can, completely full of dry leaves of preferably oak, if you have oak. You will also need a pair of tongs like this. Regular tongs from the barbecue or kitchen tongs, depending on the size of your can. I made a large can as seen here, this size can, which is quite large. And I made one for an art school, but I do not have it here to show it to you. This is the preferable size, actually. I made a large can as seen here, this size can, which is quite large, and I made one for an art school, but I do not have it here to show it to you. This is the preferable size, actually. Here is a view of the leaves within the can and the spring. It's very windy here today.
today. And then light the leaves and let the smoke penetrate the whole piece of ceramic. So now you saw the ovens, or the smokers as we would call them, of different sizes. Now we will go to the process. Here you see this terracotta bisque garden pot with the clay slurry slip. As you see, I also did engraving called Scrafito through the slip. This slip is mixed with ash. You then place the pot or whatever ceramic you have inside the can, surround it with leaves and light the leaves on fire. Keep tongs handy and a small fire extinguisher. Perform this if within a kiln, preferably, or outdoors in a patio. This is another Chulacanus Flavio Sosa Massa version. Try this as well. Here we go with good combustion. I am trying to trap the smoke so it will penetrate the clay. This lovely bowl you see has the smoke penetrated into it. I then soaked it in a bucket of water for 10 minutes to slake off the slurry. You have to allow at least 10 minutes soaking. Then you scrub it off as I did here and all the slurry is gone leaving the contrasting batik-like pre-Columbian smoke resist called negative ceramic decoration. This is Danny Cruz Sosa, a Chulucanus descendant of Gerasimo Sosa, who is his uncle. Here you see he has applied his slip, which he is doing at the present time, on this monkey figurine. As you see, he's using a very thick application. This one has already been smoked, as you can see, and he hasn't soaked it yet. This is the mother of the artist you just saw on YouTube, Juana Sosa. If you have time, do view this video that Danny, who was just painting the slurry, made of his mother's work, which is lovely. Likewise, this technique was done not only in the length of the western part of the Americas, it was likewise done in Europe at the border of Germany and Switzerland by the HALLS. TAD-C culture and it's in the Zurich National Museum where you will see examples of the same smoke resist. Ceramic history authors have never mentioned this technique in the history of ceramic publications that I have investigated since 1965 and not one has mentioned it. All the black you see here is smoke penetrated negative resist rediscovered by her brother Gerasimo Sosa Alache in Chulacanus in 1977.
This is Snow Princess with white on gold underneath. This pot was made with a A Gerasimo Sosa pot showing his revived techniques. Here he did double negative resist and in this area smokes graffito.